Hello class, this is section 7.4 and we are going to discuss the order of the convolution product. So you remember that the convolution product is this somewhat nasty integral and the point of defining this product is that we wanted to have a product so that Laplace f times g is equal to the Laplace transform of f times the Laplace transform of g. We are going to prove this fact in a later video but for now let's just observe that for this product to work the way that we want it to, we should be able to switch f and g without changing the product. Because a times b should be equal to b times a, and switching f and g should not change what the value of the product is. And our goal for this video is to show that f convolved with g is equal to g convolved with f. f convolved with g equal to f of tau g t minus tau d tau and the key step here is to make a change of variable so let's change a variable let's, let's call sigma equals t minus tau so the variable here is tau so we are differentiating respect to tau and so clearly d of sigma is equal to minus d of tau because here t is a constant in this world because you're, you're integrating res with respect to tau so if we make the uh, change of variables since sigma is t minus tau tau is sigma minus t so we have f sorry, sorry tau is t minus sigma that's a mistake tau is t minus sigma so f t minus sigma g t minus tau is equal to sigma and d tau is equal to minus d sigma so we have a minus 1 times d sigma so let's figure out what the limits of integration should be so the limits of integration in the original integral were tau from 0 to little t when tau is 0 sigma is t and when tau is t sigma is 0 but remember that taking the negative of an integral is the same as switching the limits of integration so this is just going to be equal to t of 0 and we can of course switch whatever products inside the integral so g sigma f t minus sigma d sigma so let's just change the notation change sigma the notation of sigma to tau and this is in fact just the convolution right this is exactly the same as the convolution formula here except that we had replaced sigma with tau so this is just in fact g convolve with f and there you have it uh, the order of convolution doesn't matter and convolution is indeed a product that behaves in the way that we expect it to. So f convolved with g is equal to g convolved with 